Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root and this type of questions are really important for 3 marks. The question is, show that 1156 is a perfect square. Also find the number whose square is a given number. So we have to first find out if this given number is perfect square or not. If it is perfect square, we have to find out its square root. They have not given square root, they have given find the number whose square is a given number. It's like you're finding out the square root. Whose square is this 1156, we have to find out. So that's nothing but find out the square root so to do this we're going to use a prime factorization method so when you prime when you factorizing it take only prime numbers it's a prime factorization so if you do if you take some other number you cannot get the answer so the number is 1156 now this is an even number so I'm going to start with 2 because 2 is an even number it's a prime number so the first number is 1 we cannot take so I'm going to take 11 together so 2 5 is at 10 1 is a remainder I will write this along with 5 2 7s are 14, 1 is a remainder, I'm going to write this along with 6, 6, 6 so that, may, that makes a number 16 and then 2 8s are 16. So this is how I do it, if you have other way where you are comfortable doing that, you can go with it. Otherwise you can divide the number and write down, so whichever way is easy for you, go with it. So we got 578, again this is a even number, I'm going to take 2 here, 2 2 is a 4, 1 is a remainder, we got 17, then 2 8s are 16, 1 is a remainder, so that makes a number 18, so 2 9s are 18. Now 289 is a number which is not divisible by 2 because it's odd number. It is it's not divisible by 3, not with 5 because number is not ending with 5 or 0. It's not divisible by 7, nor 11 or 13. It's directly divisible by 17. So this 289 is actually a square of 17. Okay, 17 is a prime number. It's square of 17. So 17, 17 is 289. Okay, 17 ones are 17 and then when you subtract it, you will subtract 20. Okay, let me divide this and show you how it goes. 17 ones are 17. When you subtract it, you will get the remainder 11. Drop this 9 and then 17 nines are, so 17 sevens are is 119. Subtract it, you will get the answer 0. So 17 17 is 289. And 17 is a prime number, so we're going to take 17 ones are 17. Over. Now, the next question is find whose square the given number is. So let's find out the square root of this number. So first we're going to write down the number here. 1156 is equal to 2 into 2 into 17 into 17. Write down the prime factors you got here. Now, if the number is perfect square, you will see that the prime factors are in pair. This 2 is in pair and 17 is also in pair. If it's not a perfect square, then this number will, the factors will not be in a pair. There will be one factor or two factors which are single. You can see here they're forming perfectly pair here, which means that we can say, yes, 100, uh, 1156 is a perfect square. Now, whose square it is? That is where we find out the square root of the number. So square root is nothing but from each factor you take from each pair you take one one factor. So from this I'm going to take one factor two and from here I'm going to take one factor seventeen. So two into seventeen is thirty four. So thirty four square is one thousand one hundred fifty six or square root of one thousand one fifty six is for thirty four. So we, yes we can say that this number is perfect square and we got the square root also. So that's what this was a simple question. I hope it's clear. In case you have other questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.